The final image we're going to create here is an image that I highlight inside the Hair of the Dog Academy posing guide that you could find more information on that right here. But what we're going to do in here is we are going to show you how to create this um, fan favorite puppy dog eyes type shot from two different images when the dogs are very different heights so that you can keep both the eyes in focus while still keeping a shallow depth of field. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can also check out our other resources at hairofthedogacademy.com. All right, let's get into it. Okay, for this image, we have two dogs we are photographing. You can see one is a little bit shorter than this other, so this tall dog is all sorts of out of focus. Where we also have this image, where we have great expression on the tall dog, great expression on the short dog, but the short dog, well, is out of focus. So whenever I take group shots, it doesn't matter what kind of group shots, overhead, far away, um, long focal length, short focal length, I am always moving my focal point around to get different dogs in focus because this happens. <laughs> Even if you think they were the same height and they were the same plane and that everybody was in focus, chances are some part of one of those dogs is going to be out of focus. So this is a great, great trick to be able to make it look like they're both in focus, even though, you know, those of us that know how cameras work knows this couldn't possibly happen in real life. However, most people don't, and they just see both adorable dogs in focus faces, and it works really, really well. So what we are going to do is we are going to use this image as our main image, and then we're gonna bring this dog over here into this image from um, from here, and we're just gonna bring it over. So one way to slide it over is just select the image right over here in our layer palette. We're gonna drag it onto the tab, and then bring it over and drop it right here on top of that other image. And voila, we have a new layer. Now we need to line these layers up, so I am going to go ahead and lower my opacity to about 50%. I'm going to select the Move tool right up here, which is also a V shortcut, and then we are going to line the dog up. Now, what part am I gonna line up? This is very important. We are going to line up this bigger shepherd dogs, like kind of like front leg. So that way, this little part right here, cause this piece right here where these two dogs connect is going to be the hardest part of this image to make mesh together. So usually getting that piece where they're kind of connecting is ideal and that way, this other dog is going to be mostly in focus. Look what else gets lined up when we do this. All of those stones. So this is going to make it much easier for us to line these two images up and simply mask this other dog in. So there we go, we're pretty lined up. We're gonna turn our opacity on all the way and we are going to add a mask, which is right down here, this little rectangle with a circle inside. Boom, we've got a mask, remember. White reveals, black conceals. So we have white on this image. Um, we can go ahead and leave it white or we're gonna command I actually and turn it black. So it's hiding. This whole entire image is hidden because it is a black mask. Think black mask, you can't see through it because it's dark. White mask is like a window, it's light. You can see more light through it. That's one way to remember that as well. So anyway, let's paint on this black mask so we can see this small dog. We're gonna grab B for our brush. We're gonna check the color, it's white. We're gonna make a bigger brush and we're just gonna start brushing our little dog back in here. Oh, hello, little one. So we have a different ways we can do this. We can stay right here like this and like basically we got the dog's whole face in focus and we can leave this body kind of out of focus or we can go ahead and try to bring some more of that dog over. That actually looks pretty decent there. I don't even know that we need to go any further. I mean, you can keep testing it though. You can go all the way over, but then look, oh, this dog's nose from this bottom image. Oh, there you go. Dog's nose, oh, hold on. Make sure I'm clicking. If you ever go to brush and you're like, wait, I'm just brushing on the image now, it's because you got off the mask. So go ahead and click on that mask again. And then we can see, oh, see that dog's nose? <laughs> well, that's not attractive. So one of the great things about using these masks is they are non-destructive. So that means you can get all sorts of crazy and then nothing's happened. You haven't removed any pixels. You just change the color with an X. Now you're painting black and you can just paint back what you wanted right here. 
Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and paint the black between them so that it all makes sense. And I think that looks pretty darn good. And that, again, so quick and easy. But unless you know these tools are available to you, it's hard to make this shot happen. So one thing I always do when I've been doing this is I go through and I test. A, I look to make sure there's no rogue white. Um, and I also test on and off, on and off. And I'm looking around all the edges where the edge of this mask is to make sure it makes sense everywhere. And that pretty much does. Maybe I'll change just a little bit more of that. So that way that kind of changes right there on the stone instead of in the middle of the stone. But I think that looks pretty good and we are all set. If you'd like to get more information on our posing guide that has over 50 different poses you can create uh, with your dogs at your sessions, um, just follow the links below this video to check that out. In the meantime, we'll see you for our future videos.